Model 10 Perfection View An important part of the modeling process is parts and assemblies visualization to make them look real. You can do this by setting up face and parts appearance or by simulating the lighting. Let's now work with the top face of our GPS device. Go to the Structure tab, Part Assembly group and uh, select Appear menu in the part settings. You can assign colors to a part of selected faces with this menu. The color is set using color selector that opens when you click more colors in this list. You will see it now. Look. For part color and age color go down and you see more colors. If you assign colors to a part or to part faces, make sure the option Face Color in the Show Settings menu is on. You can set the transparency to a part to selected faces of a part, that means ability to see through the part or not. There are some options Full, Semi or Opaque. Options Reflect Power and Reflect Color allows to see colors of reflected lights and amount of reflectance for parts. Gear resolution in part properties menu defines the geometrical accuracy of the parts. You can assign properties to selected parts. Use set to default copy from and copy to options like you see we do it now. We will copy some properties from our bottom color that is gray. And you will see the result now. After assigning appearance properties to parts, you need to set up a lighting environment in light settings menu to illuminate the view. Just right click the viewport and select light properties. Pro Elements supports a definite number of different lights to simulate the illumination of a shaded part. First of all, ambient light, light number zero, sometimes called diffuse light, which seems to come from all directions at once like the light on a cloudy day. With such light, you are limited to the light color and its brightness, like you see now. For the other lights, which are all arranged around the part, you can select between three types, parallel beams, this light is called directional. All light hits the object from the same direction, like the light on a sunny day. For each parallel light, you can modify color, brightness and direction. Positional light it is the light from a fixed source in all directions. And spot light from a fixed source that radiates along a definite cone. For each spotlight, you can modify color, brightness, direction, position, cone angle, attenuation, distance, and spot power. With directional light, light follows model. If this option is on, the light will remain in its fixed position when you move the part, otherwise the light will move with the part. For positional light, you can define the light's position in space with a 3D coordinate or measure point on a part with measure option and pass it to the position option. You can set any of the options for each type of light using the knob box if you click the option dynamic. After you have created a part, you can derive property information. Part and decibly properties are calculated by two ways. In global coordinate system and in reference coordinate system, you can measure distances, directions, angles, cylindrical parameters, and so on. You can also measure characteristics for face, work plane, and part. By common face in the manager group of the analysis step, you can select faces for calculation of their area. You will need to select characteristic parameter for calculation, for example, volume. For part, it will calculate volume of space occupied, area, mass, centroid, inertia, principal axis, density, report. You can measure area of a closed profile in the rock plane. If the rock plane contains more than one closed profile, correct calculate the area of all profiles by common rock plane in the measure group. In Croy Elements Direct Modeling Express, you can set units by a such way file, settings, system, and units command. 
To set a length angular or mass unit, simply click on the suitable unit from the list available through the Units tab. You can set factor for the parts which demand non-standard units of measure, for example, 2 mm. You can also display the Units menu by clicking Units in the status bar.